A historic moment for NASA engineers. They're calling it a dream come true. NASA's Ingenuity helicopter taking its first flight on Mars. We can now say that human beings have flown a rotorcraft on another planet. Where is Ingenuity right now and how is it doing? Our baby's doing great. Uh, we're now two years <laughs> flying uh, on the Red Planet. We've covered over 10 kilometers total distance, more than an hour airborne. Did you ever imagine that it that you would reach this point with Ingenuity? Never, never, no. We built this thing for five flights. And the whole point of Ingenuity is to be a tech demo, have that checkbox, right, and say, yeah, we can fly on Mars. We're far outside the manufacturer's original warranty period, right, and we're looking forward to just keep pushing that envelope. So what have been some of the biggest lessons learned from Ingenuity's journey so far? Dealing with summer, dealing with winter, there's curveballs with dust storms. We had to learn how to clear dust out of our actuators. You could compare Ingenuity actual flight data to our simulation data and they line up beautifully, right? That's a treasure trove now, because now if you want to go build another helicopter on Mars, you have a footing to stand on. I'm seeing a lot of different types of terrain. How does Ingenuity deal with that? We use satellite imagery, uh, orbital data, uh, to have a profile of what this terrain is like. We feed that into Ingenuity's flight plan so that she knows and can account for that change in height. Ingenuity has control and authority to override our commands. Okay. So if we look at orbital data and say, mm, this area looks good to land, let's go shoot for that. Um, but once Ingenuity arrives and it realizes, hey, there's actually some rocks here we should avoid, uh, that's now an additional capability that keeps us safe as we're going through this treacherous terrain. What is the future of space helicopters? A lander is going to be sent to Mars, inside of which is a rocket. For the first time ever, we're going to launch from the surface of Mars and bring stuff back. In the event that in the next decade something happens with the Perseverance rover, we're designing two helicopters that will be able to fly from the lander, go to the cache depot site, land, pick up a tube one at a time, and to do that, we need to upgrade Ingenuity a little bit. Do you mind showing me on this the modifications that you'll need to make for those recovery copters? The most striking differences are going to be the fact that in the front here, we're going to have an arm, and each one of the feet now, instead of just being a foot, we're going to have a wheel. So we can drive around on the surface, do a precision approach right up to a tube, pick it up, go return it to the lander and rinse repeat. If you could design a dream space helicopter mission, what would that look like? There is a team working on a concept called Mars Science Helicopter where you take the coaxial uh, rotorcraft lessons learned and you scale that up to put payloads anywhere on Mars. We're talking about the poles, we're talking about diving into lava tubes, going into caves, inspecting cliff walls, right? You could wind up carrying uh, scientific payloads in the two to five kilogram range, where you can carry real science payloads to answer some real scientific questions.